Hey guys, it's Vera91, and I'm talking about Game Vice. Now, for those of you who don't remember, Game Vice tried to sue Nintendo, I think it was 2017. They basically seemed to say that Nintendo's product was too similar, and I actually made two videos about them around that time. This is what I had to say about it back then. That's the Wikipad. That's the Nintendo Switch. Wikipad, Nintendo Switch. Let's show them side by side. If you wanted to buy the Wikipad, or if you wanted to buy the Switch, would you confuse one for the other? If you do, buy a pair of glasses, my friend. And yet, Game Vice, after losing, is now appealing the decision. I don't get it, because Game Vice gotta know. The products aren't similar enough. Like, I told you guys in that video, I actually graduated from law school. And one of the things I learned about IPs is, does it cause confusion? And like I said in that video, if you went looking for Game Vice, would you buy the Switch thinking it's the same device? They look very di different, and they're for different purposes. The Switch is its own console. Game Vice was a controller, I believe, for your tablet. So it's very different. So I don't understand why Game Vice still thinks they could win this. Going to court is not cheap, especially when you lose, because you have to pay not only your bills usually, but you have to pay your opponent's bills as well. So I don't understand what Game Vice is thinking here. The longer they go on with this trial, the more money they're going to lose, most likely, because I doubt they're going to win this trial. I mean, maybe they're thinking that, oh, if we win this game, Nintendo, the money that we get from it is going to be worth it. But I just doubt they will win. I just seriously doubt it. I don't understand what Game Vice is going for here, because they lost the first case. Do they really think they're going to win the appeal? Yes, yeah, sometimes that could happen. But at the same time, when you look at Game Vice controller for your, like, tablet, and you look at Nintendo Switch... They're so different just by looking, and they have different things. The Game Vice doesn't have any dedicated games for it, while the Nintendo Switch does. The Game Vice technically isn't a console. It's a controller for tablets, while the Nintendo Switch is actually a game console. I don't believe it causes confusion like that. I really doubt that anyone really was going to the game store looking for Game Vice and bought a Nintendo Switch by mistake. They're probably way different in price, too. So... I really think Game Vice is going to lose this case and probably lose the money and maybe declare bankruptcy. I don't know what financially position they're in. But what do you guys think about this, about Game Vice actually appealing after losing their suit against Nintendo? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. May God bless you all.